Yo, it's Richie Lucky, but my lol IDs are Terra Ziggs and Round 50 Zombies. And today I'm gonna share some secret tips and mechanics that you may not have known about when it comes to playing Kobe Bryant. Number one, before you even get on the court, you're going to want to download a program that lets you keybind a sound clip to your keyboard. What this does, it it lets you know that you are Kobe motherfucking Bryant every time you hit your three-pointer, all right? Away. Let's go! Three for Kobe Bryant. What a shot! Number two, your if you have at least 37 AP, you can three shot the back wave at level one, and you can two shot the back wave at level three. Number three, your W goes wherever the fuck it wants to go. So if this tower is low, I could just execute it like that from all the way here. If someone's hugging over here, and they have really low HP, you could kill them from here. Or you could throw from here, and it'll land over there. You can throw from here. Number four. Everybody makes this mistake for some reason. They throw the W in front of themselves, and then they fucking jump. Don't do that. If you're jumping, make it instant. Always throw it behind you. The only reason you want to throw your W in front of yourself is if you're flashing on it. And this is actually a really good way to escape ganks, because junglers won't expect it and you'll be gone by the by the time they realize what the fuck happened. If you want to make it really easy to jump over like huge walls, this is how you do it. So, you click as close as possible to the wall, spacebar, hold down W, and it's already in place. Bang. Click, spacebar, W, wait. Click, spacebar, W, wait. It's so easy to do. Once I discovered this, I I barely fail walls now. Number five, Ziggs can Q flash. Just press your Q first, then flash. Even if it's outside of the range. Number six, this is a mistake I see a lot of Ziggs players making, and it's that they do not, they do not type Kobe in all caps in all chat after they hit their three-pointer. I will also accept wet, splash, and swish. If you know basketball moves, here's some cool ones. This is the teardrop. This is the fadeaway. And this is the slam dunk. When you're playing Kobe, you can even make your own goddamn basketball hoop. To shoot a free throw, just press B right before jumping. Come on, come on, come on. See that shit? That's the basket. Also, I don't know the names of these abilities. I just know that they're QWER. That's all I know. But if we're gonna give them names, let's be honest, this is a three pointer. And this is the two-pointer, all right? And this is Kobe's vertical. Number seven, or eight, nine, I don't even fucking know. What you're gonna wanna do is use your three-pointer like you're playing Faker when he plays Ezreal. What Faker would do on Ezreal is he would just shoot his, his, uh, his beam bot lane. He would just damage them. That's it, just randomly throws it bot lane just to do damage. Do the same thing with Ziggs R especially in a passive lane phase. Just throw your R, help out your bot lane, hit the enemy team, and hopefully gain an advantage. This is only going to be successful if, uh, if you're in a passive lane phase. And if the enemy bot lane does not have sustain. So if you're against a Soraka or something like that, then obviously throwing your ult down is not going to help. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed my secret tips on how to play Kobe Bryant.